to a GMA health alert about C-sections. Of course, they're the most common major surgery in the U.S., but now a new study reveals that if you have had one, you could be at greater risk for surgical complications in the future. Dr. Jen Ashton is here. Great to have you. And, and we've got to break this down. This isn't saying if you've had a C-section that you're more likely to have a hysterectomy. It's saying Correct. that if you have an elective hysterectomy, you could have complications later down the road. So break this down it, for Okay, us. so as you said, C-section, the most common major surgery done in the world. And then hysterectomy is also the, one of the most common surgeries done in this country. So this study came out of JAMA Surgery, very reputable journal. It was about 7,600 women in Denmark who have had C-sections and then went on later in life to have a hysterectomy for benign reasons, so not cancer. This was the first time you looked at one surgery and then the other and connected whether or not there were complications. And in fact, there were. So what the study found is that women who had had one C-section had a 31% increased risk of complications following a hysterectomy that they had in the future. And if you had two or more C-sections, that risk went up to about 38% increased risk of complications following a hysterectomy. These numbers are a big deal. 31%, that's, that's a huge number. Yeah. So I want you to explain the future risk. What exactly are we, what so are we talking what about? So what the study found in terms of what are those complications, right? So increased risk of needing to go back to the operating room sometime in 30 days following a hysterectomy. Increased risk of operative surgical time, so how long it takes the surgeons to do that operation. Increased risk for needing a blood transfusion following a hysterectomy. Right. and increased risk of infection, usually surgical site infection. And I want to show you why. So if you imagine this board as a uterus that has never had a C-section, you have smooth surface of the uterus. We like to say pristine, okay? <laughs> After one C-section, of course, we have to close the uterus so there can be scar tissue. And, you know, that can happen after one surgery. It can happen rarely after no surgeries. But in general, one, you would get a scar like that on the uterus. Two or more C-sections, the risk of scar wow. tissue internally, again, not for every woman, but it definitely goes up. And we have to remember, you know, when you have a baby and you're in your 20s or 30s, and then down the road, 10, 20, 30, 40 years, we have to go back into that abdomen and deal with those complications. And that scarring can really stack the deck for those complications. That's a lot of, a lot of scar tissue. I, I've had th I have three kids. I've had one cesarean yeah. section. Yeah. So I'm that second prop, that, that second picture that Probably, you just held up. Yes. But for those who have had C-sections, we know one out of every three children are born That's via right. cesarean right. now. What can we do to prevent a return to surgery? Well, listen, this is a big push in my specialty in OBGYN. We're trying to lower that 30% national c-section rate but we have to remember that c-sections can also save lives both maternal and fetal lives and there are both maternal and fetal reasons that we do c-section so it's not always in the woman's control no. whether or not she gets one but I think the key thing is down the road if you are told you need any type of surgery especially GYN surgery like a hysterectomy and you have had a c-section or even if you hadn't no smoking, that's one of the worst things you can do for complications after surgery, and keep your weight in the healthy range. That is within your control. So if you're going to the OR, you can control those things. Great information, great advice, you, great Maria. visuals as well. Thank Dr. you. Jen. Thanks again.